whoever ordained bishop Ben Kengei umetuangusha in all sense of the word umetuangusha the bare minimum as a minister of the gospel as an overseer because a bishop is an overseer the bible is clear in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1 and let me read it out just in case you've forgotten here is a trustworthy saying whoever aspires to be an overseer desires a noble task now the overseer is to be above reproach faithful to his wife temperate self-control respectable hospitable able to teach not given to drunkenness not violent but gentle not quarrelsome and not a lover of money he must manage his family well and see that his children obey him and he must do so in a manner worthy of full respect if anyone does not know how to manage his own family how can he take care of god's church literally he's bringing shame to the church and to the body of jesus christ because when a pastor falls he drags the name of christ and the entire church in the mud so umetuangusha 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 because this is this is some of the reasons why even the government wants to regulate over the church of Jesus Christ because we are unable to regulate our own. I am saddened at the things that are coming out. I am saddened and heartbroken. So I think it is important for us to go back to the drawing board. Number one, if you fall into sin, because none of us is perfect, we are all human and we hold each other accountable. So it's important that if you fall into sexual sin, number one, if you do not show remorse, then you should be kicked out of the church. But if there is remorse, then you should step down and go into discipline. And whoever ordained this man, Ben Kengei, he should take, fold his sleeves and go to work. Take this man, your disciple, and disciple him. And let him sit under you for at least a year. And then you walk through the pains of restoring him. Because we serve a God of second chances. A God who has capacity to restore because our God is gracious. But he must step down and go through discipline. And then assign somebody else to this flock. Because the church is also hurting. So that that church can also be restored and, 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 and blessed and healed through the entire process. And so I challenge whoever ordained this man. Fold your sleeves and go to work. And let's kick nonsense out of the church of Jesus Christ. God have mercy on all of us. Guys, it is so unfortunate. Kuana mutungeteri akihora mutungeteri oriongi. Deule, mutungeteri ngo ende ku aleto Reverend Kiama. Deule reke ngwere muthuri uyu. Ona weto ndu oro kirira Reverend Ben ukiuga ati mundoro wa muonde inira ni ahetirie ri. Ona wele wagire gukoro kihunjia kwa kutigana na kwene. In fact, gwana gatiriri mawoni makwa ndeta most beast. Gwana gatiriri muthuri uyu ri etheru ndera ici igere isoke siekerwo zip ya ya kuongithia tondu ana kere ni mumamas mundu akuthuke ya isiri erutere andere ndera isu igire njethe muthuri ucio ndi munengere na hare othe mari kura mona wa wa mombasani ona inywere no mundu mire ere parcel mundu mire ndera isu igire na wakikise ni siekerwo breast feeding ni kazi gweto breast feeding kana sikweto atia isi isi nyororo isi sia kuongithia tondu ana kere ni mumamas Mm. Eh. 